Is this landmine still functional? Partially. Why? Because I want to blow up Donna's desk so I can teach her a lesson about what happens when you skip work. I'm not sure that's how you should go about this. I'm kind of her boss now, but I still feel weird disciplining her. What do I do? Look her in the eyes and tell her exactly what you need from her. Be mature, direct, and firm. What? Some fool just slammed me on Yelp. I took Ron's advice. I very maturely and straightforwardly left anonymous comments about Donna online. Stopped by to adopt a dog, but the employee, Donna Meagle, was nowhere to be found. Thanks for nothing, Donna Meagle. Boo. With five O's. Oh my god, that sucks. Just have to work harder, I guess. Huh. This freak thinks he can hide behind some anonymous username? I'm about to hunt you down. Just give me the IP address of the dude that gave me that cracked out Yelp review. Okay, here we go. The IP address says it came from someone inside City Hall. In this building? Oh, hell no. Well, who cares, really? It's just some dumb internet person. Ignore it. Ignore it? I'm about to come down on this dude like Thor's hammer Mjolnir. I'm about to go Mjolnir on his ass. Donna, Kyle did not write those things, OK? I did. <sighs> I know. You do? I checked what else that user had written. It was a review of a funeral home that said, great first date spot. I tried Colin here to see if you would come clean. Well, you overestimated how much I care what happens to Kyle. Or anyone, really. But I'm sorry that I didn't just talk to you. And I'm sorry I bailed on work. And I'm sorry I toyed with you instead of coming at you straight. From now on, we say what we feel. Cool? Cool. Your lipstick looks weird. You're going to want to shut your mouth right now. Good talk. Now remember, it's about finding a dog that captures your spirit. See? This is Craig. <laughs> oh, no, that is insane. I will burn this place to the ground if you pick that one. OK, good choice. You guys, Leslie. Yes. And Ron Swanson. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh my God. This is Larry. Huh? That's great. Dude. Bingo. Donna. Nailed it. Ooh. You're a poodle because you're pretty and you like makeup and stuff. Came over. Hey. OK, are you still mad at me about the poodle thing? It's just a dumb game. I can pick another dog. I'm not mad about the choice. I'm mad about the reasons. Pretty, makeup. Is that all you know about me? Mm, we don't hang out that much. It's not like you know a ton about me. You're beautiful, yet cold and aloof. You pride yourself on being a loner. You do not obey. You choose to cooperate. And when you stop bearing your fangs to pick a mate, it's for life. And you're fiercely loyal to your pack, which makes you a rare black Siberian husky. That was so spot on, it was scary. It's in, in. It's cold outside, and I can't wear mittens because they're unflattering to my hands. Sorry, guys. This is your penance. You can come in if you do something nice for Jerry. Hey, I already did something nice for Jerry. I drove here to take him to Jerry dinner. Donna, you can come in. <gasps> okay. What? 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 <laughs> what? Donna! Merry Christmas, bitch! Donna! John Ralphio. Looking hot, big T. Throw them both. What? Damn, girl, who are you trying to impress? Yeah. Just kidding, I know. Walk away. Yeah, you got it. Got your birthday shot. Oh, thanks. But now that it's legal, I've kind of lost interest. Suit yourself. The drum beats out of time. If, if you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time. Time after time. Time after time. Good stuff. It's never happened.